Welcome back to Northern Ireland. Guy Martin is a former winner here of the feature race, and it's time for the feature race, the Cookstown 100. The safety car is on the course. We're about to get into the action. It's been a great day weather-wise. It's been an even better day racing-wise as well. We uh, should have had Mike Brown, of course, in pole position, but after his crash earlier, there'll be a gap there. So you would imagine it's going to be between Sweeney and McLean again. Tom Maxwell will try to be involved. No Paul Jordan, of course. A few gaps on that grid. But we're about to go racing. And Tom Maxwell exploit that big gap, and he's going for it. It's a cracking start, not such a good one from Sweeney. That's who we're riding on board with. Richard Charlton on bike 42. Next wave gets away. But certainly, it wasn't a good start from Sweeney. Oh, McLean leads, and somehow Sweeney's regained that position. It looked like Maxwell could certainly have been threatening. He's back in third place. So Sweeney chasing Adam McLean. Well, having watched Sweeney go off into the distance somewhat in the uh, earlier Superbike race, McLean knew he had to get in front of Sweeney this time, and that's exactly what he's done. So McLean from Sweeney from Maxwell. Herbertson's in fourth place this time. And it is the perfect opening lap for Adam McLean, exactly what he had hoped for. But so Chris Duncan on bike 119, being followed by Michael de Koupel. So McLean from Sweeney. It's going to be those two again. What has McLean learned? from the earlier superbike race between these two that he can use to his advantage this time around. Herbertson certainly doesn't want to be left behind. Richard Charlton in fifth place on bike 42. Herbertson trying to stay with Maxwell if he can this on this occasion. McLean in a hurry. And Sweeney breathing down his neck. That gap back to third place, which should be Tom Maxwell. Meanwhile, the Koupel just a little bit too wide to try and take the position from Chris Duncan. Now, where is Dom Herbertson? I think he might be. Is he in third or is he in fifth? Certainly, Herbertson has disappeared there from Magny. So, Sweeney. Still chasing McLean. Where is Dominic Herbertson? It is a big, big gap back to third place. It is Maxwell in third, so Herbertson has dropped back. Kennedy is into fourth place now. Well, something has happened off camera. Herbertson still showing on the leaderboard, though. But Graham Kennedy on bike 24. Here is the man again in third place, Tom Maxwell. Around Gordon. There is Charlton. And McLean, whatever didn't go for him in the earlier Superbike race is certainly going for him this time. There's a flag out there. Oh, and that's the reason why a rider touring. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's a big one. It's a big smash for Adam McLean, straight into the air fence. So red flag immediately to Adam McLean. Another crash, of course, for him today. So the red flag is out. Oh, my goodness me. The good news is Adam McLean is fine despite this latest crash. So we will have a restart. And incredibly, no Mike Brown, no Adam McLean. They'll start in the order that they finished. So it's a race to the chequered flag. You'd have to say Sweeney has the starter's favourite. We're riding with Maxwell. He'll be hoping to get close. It's all getting a little bit tight. It's Sweeney from Maxwell, from Herbertson, Charlton. The 
24, Graham Kennedy. A little wheelie from Dominic Herbison as he squirts on the power. Well, Sweeney from Maxwell, from Herbison. Carlton Kennedy. Dan Johnson on bike 54. So Sweeney looking for a hat trick of victories. Robertson trying to stay again with Maxwell. If he can just hook up with him and maybe not lose him going off into the distance as we've seen before. Five laps is the race distance for this restart. Instead of using the waves, of course, as uh, they did earlier, just punched everyone back up, made a race of it. And I think all the riders prefer that as well. Certainly makes a great spectacle for the fans, seeing everyone dicing together. What we don't want to see is any more mishaps like we've seen happen to Adam McLean and Mike Brown. Herbertson is carrying a lot of speed, I thought so. Just looking back there, you're thinking, my goodness, Herbertson was certainly looking fast. Gets up, that's one way of doing it. So Dominic Herbertson, far too quick. Thankfully, there was a gap there for him to go into. Otherwise, we could have had another little mishap. We'll see that again. As we were looking, I was thinking, my goodness, Herbertson really is late on the brakes. I didn't expect him to be that late, though. I don't think he did either. But certainly saved it very, very well. Again, a little bit of air. Well, certainly for the front wheel, they go over the jump next to the farm. But Sweeney, you have to say, although we've thought this before on a number of occasions today, that someone's got a race sewn up. But here he comes, Michael Sweeney. So, Thomas Maxwell looking good for a second place of this last lap. Richard Tom third, Graham Kennedy fourth, but still that question mark, and here it is, that question mark, as Herbertson and Johnson side by side, and still Johnson holds him off. So, Herbertson in sixth place, Johnson in fifth. Oh, and he's through, and that is how Dominic Herbertson to hit the brakes going into Gordon. So to go for Michael Sweeney. It's been a good day for Michael Sweeney. And it's been a good one for Thomas Maxwell. He's had strong results in the past. He'll go well at Tandragee next week as well. But Herbertson should finish this one in fifth place now. Sam Johnson will have to settle for sixth. Further back, we've got the likes of Anthony Redmond and Chris Duncan and Paul Cranston. So Sweeney. Roaring towards the chequered flag, it's out, it's waved, and it's accepted by Michael Sweeney. Another win at Cookstown. He's the man of the day. And a delighted Richard Charlton in third place. Maxwell in second. Michael Sweeney with the fastest lap, 125.1. That was on the penultimate lap of the race. This is how he finishes. Sweeney wins from Maxwell, Charlton, Kennedy, Herbertson, Johnson, with Redmond, Duncan and Cranston rounding out the finishes. It's been uh, a couple of wins I've been waiting on in a long time, you know what I mean? It, it's just very hard come by when you have the likes of the lads that we're missing here today, Mike and Adam, and then obviously Big Shields and the boys aren't here, but look at the wins a win, so I'm over the moon with that, delighted with it. And what does it mean to you to do it in this, the centenary year of the Cookstown 100? It's great because it's just it's just massive all. Everything is built up around the Cookstown for the last couple of weeks for the 100 years. So um, to get this here, it's a bit of a special moment as well. So I'm delighted with that.